Bhagavad Gita, text 3.42. It is said that senses are superior to the sense objects. The mind is superior to the senses, and moreover, the intellect is superior to the mind. Superior even to the intellect is the self. In this verse, Krishna outlines the material hierarchy and then touches the soul. The authorities he refers to are either the wise or the shruti. They say that the senses are superior to the sense objects. This also means that the senses are superior to the body as the actual senses are situated in the subtle body with their external representations appearing in the gross body. Superior to the senses is the mind, which is subordinate to the intellect. This is the material hierarchy. The word saha in this verse means this or he. It refers to either kama itself, the individual soul or God. If we understand the word saha as a reference to karma, the principal subject of this section, such a rendering serves to stress the power of desire. It can corrupt all. It is the all-powerful enemy of the soul. Without underestimating the power of karma, however, a more plausible rendering of saha here is the individual soul. Above the intellect is the soul, a unit of consciousness. By knowing oneself as a unit of consciousness, one can conquer over karma. This is confirmed in the next verse. <laughs>